Hi guys, so it's been just over three weeks since I've got into Warhammer 40k kill teams and as you can see I've now got three kill teams fully assembled and painted uh, which is pretty awesome so really enjoying this obviously this is the more recent one was old Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers or otherwise known as the Intercessors so yeah really pleased with how they're looking but obviously as I'm getting quite a few now I really want a way of sort of storing these um, well in a nice way that I can obviously look at them and enjoy them so that's why I'm going to make up um, display cases but my plan is to make sort of the same sort of size display case for all the teams so regardless if it's just like the five or six intercessors or whether it's going to be the ten orcs so I need to make sure whatever size I make it can certainly accommodate uh, well the more figures so that's why I've got the orcs here even though this one's going to be the space marines I'm um, just making sure that the size I use can be the same size for all of them so I'm using these MDF sheets that I bought off Amazon um, I've got quite a few of these I think they're A3 in size and the good thing is obviously one of these will definitely get enough parts to make one display case uh, with a few bits left over so my original plan was to have obviously a bottom um, a back and even a top and obviously the sides uh, but as you'll see later on I kind of changed my mind part way through and I don't do the top so obviously cut these nice and easy with just the, uh, the blade that I've got but then they do sort of get a little bit of a rough edge so I just sort of sand that down just because obviously then it makes it easier for when I come to glue them together they've all got some lovely sort of flat edges um, and obviously doing the sanding helps key in the uh, for the glue as well so I'm just using the uh, cheap super glue that I've got uh, mainly because well it's a cheap super glue and I've got quite a bit of it so I'm keeping the design nice and simple so obviously I can make plenty of these kind of boxes up I had thought about um, doing some LEDs in which is why I was obviously going to have the roof on uh, but then I kind of changed my mind because it would be difficult uh, putting the LEDs in and not knowing how I'm going to make these look um, so each one of these sort of display cases is going to be unique and different uh, and made to look like the same sort of terrain and backdrop where you'd find that, uh, that particular kill team and that's why I'm going to be using these uh, space tiles from uh, Tanti 4 so it obviously fits in rather well with the um, Stormtroopers, Darth Vader, all that kind of stuff. But obviously rather than painting them white, um, I will be painting them in a sort of a, a silvery colour. So this one I'm actually holding up is one I used for something else. So obviously I'm going to print out some new ones. And obviously the great thing about printing things out is you can print things out whatever size you desire, which is pretty awesome. And I'm using my trusty Anycubic Photon Mono X. Uh, awesome printer, is obviously linked in the description guys. Go and check out any cubic if you're thinking about buying a printer. I've had mine now for, oh, I don't know, nearly a year, I guess. Um, yeah, no, never any problems, worked fine. And obviously I do print <laughs> quite a lot of stuff out. So uh, yeah, it's it's seen some seen some action. So guys, all the, uh, the files that I'm printing out, I am gonna uh, make a folder up on my Patreon page, um, just because obviously I'm gonna make up quite a few of these display cases. So all the, uh, the bits and pieces that I use to make up a display case, I will be putting all the details and the files over on at Patreon um, if you did want to make up exactly the same sort of thing that I'm doing. So yeah, so when I print these out, I do print these out flat on the uh, the base. And that's why sometimes there's a bit of, uh, I, I never know what the term's called, but basically the first layer can sort of spread, uh, which is why I obviously needed to sand the edges down a little bit just to make them nice and flush. And then they will just simply get glued in position. And so this is also the great thing about having a 3D printer you can just build, design, make things to fit whatever your needs are, uh, which is pretty awesome. So yes, yeah, so all these parts have been sort of custom, sort of sized and built and all the rest of it. Uh, just so it does all fit in nice and neat. Uh, but as you'll see, there are a few little gaps here and there. Uh, obviously good old filler, and you'll see that in a minute, uh, comes into play and just, well, fills in the gaps. Kind of does what it says on the tin, really. So yeah, glue everything in place. So I'm using the super glue. I do sometimes use Gorilla Glue, but in this case, I kind of wanted things to be stuck almost instantly. Um, and yeah, that's why this was my go-to glue for this one. But yeah, really pleased how this, this obviously looks. I say those side panels are from uh, Tanti 4. Basically, all the things that I get um, 3D-wise are from Thingiverse, just because obviously they're nice and free, nice and cheap. And then I import them into Tinkercad, which again is a nice free software you can use just to sort of mini-play and change things. Uh, which is pretty cool. Like the bases that I've obviously got here, they're just like floor panels and then I've um, obviously cut out circles to accommodate the uh, the figures, which is pretty cool. Again, another reason why I like using the uh, the clear bases, just because they're nice and thin, nice and flat, and obviously when you put them in uh, display cases such as this, 
well, you just don't get to see the base, which is uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, here we go. Obviously, this is one of my fa favourite materials to use. I do love grout, just because obviously it can be used to hide any uh, any mistakes we may have made. Um, yeah, as much as all these parts were 3D printed to size and all the rest of it, sometimes bits come a bit bit astray. As obviously I am making quite a few of these display cases, I kind of want them to be able to stack on top of each other. Um, and obviously the best way to do this, so they don't obviously fall off, um, little magnets. I mean these things are very small, but they are super powerful. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to put one at the back um, either side, and I'm also going to do the same underneath. So they can be stacked in any kind of way. Um, I don't need to put any of these at the front. Apologies there, a big motorbike just went whizzing past my window. Um, yeah, as I say, you don't need to put them at the front because obviously the two at the back, they're strong enough just to keep it all uh, all in place, which is pretty cool. So my usual kind of go-to method for painting sort of metals, uh, good old prime in black. Then I go over do a light dry brush with a bit of gray. Then I dry brush in some silver. And then finally, I do a bit of dry brushing in some copper, just because that seems to add a nice sort of shine to everything. While I'm doing all this dry brushing, just want to say a big shout out and thank you to all my patrons for helping support the channel, as well as my sponsors, Easy Roller Dice and Any Cubic, uh, for helping make it possible for me to sort of continue to buy the materials I need to make these videos. So cheers, guys! Thank you so much for that. And if you do become a patron, you'll be able to see what I'm currently working on uh, before obviously it comes out on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Because at the moment I'm making another display case, but for the Orcs, and I'm really pleased with how that's come out. Anyway, so yeah, back to this. Uh, yeah, good old dry. I say dry brushing is great. So simple, so easy, but I I, I love the results. Um, obviously, this is where everyone's a little bit different, and you may want to do something totally different and not like what I do, which is fine. Um, obviously, we all make stuff for what we would like to look at, and well, I just love how this has come out. So just to break it up a little bit, there's a few areas I'm going to go over and obviously just touch up with some silver. So I think these might be hinges on the door, not 100% sure. But they seem good enough to, uh, to paint silver. And then yeah, it's just a few little areas here and there um, that I thought I'd say break it up and do with a little bit of silver. Um, I'm also going to go around and again, break it up, add a little bit of colour this time. So a little red on these, um, well I don't know if these are dials, knobs, or it might even be lights, I'm not too sure doesn't really matter but um, yeah they're all going to get a little touch of red just to uh, make them stand out a little bit and say break up all that uh, silver sort of looking style and yeah there we go so really pleased that it has come out nice and simple didn't take too long uh, obviously good old 3d printed parts is just awesome and again the clear blaze bases um, they slot in really nice you can't see the bases and it works a treat so yeah I'm glad I didn't have a, uh, a top on this now because I would have needed lights of some sort underneath it would have been a bit dark but um, yeah no this is uh, this is coming really well I say this is obviously my intercessor kill team there was a video out uh, showing how I've made these so go check that out guys um, shout out some lovely comments likes all that kind of good stuff um, so I will be playing these in a couple of weeks time which I'm really excited about so yeah as I say obviously these are gonna be made modular um, just because obviously I've got the free kill teams at the moment I've already got a few other teams that I'm gonna be building there's obviously uh, Into the Dark coming out very, very soon, so I'll be making some for that. And here's a little sneak peek of the uh, the Orc uh, display case. Um, and yeah, I think it's come out really well and, well, looks orky. So there are some behind the scenes pictures of that over at Patreon. Because um, that video will be out, um, well, I'm not too sure to be honest. Because um, <laughs> I've got quite a few things I'm kind of working on, but it will be out relatively soon. But um, yeah, so there's the Orcs and we'll put that away and you can see that very soon. So yeah, cheers guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, you take care, bye for now.